who decides the value of your currency? Why is it that one day the headlines tell you that the value of rupee has fallen by 19 paise and the very next day the value has fallen again, this time by nearly 10 paise? How is this decided? You know, the value of your currency and for that matter, the value of any currency. Say the euro, the yen, the pound. Why do they constantly rise and fall and make our lives more complicated? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. My name is Molly Kambhir. The Indian rupee touched a record low of 83.29 against a dollar on the 20th of October this year. It is believed that by the end of the year, the rupee could be trading at 83.50 against a dollar. Perhaps even touch 84 or more. Just one year ago, the rupee was about 72 against a dollar. I am talking about March 2021. Ten years ago, it was 50 rupees against a dollar. Forty years ago, eight rupees could buy you a dollar. So who or what is pulling down the value of the rupee? Wouldn't life be less complicated if we use the same currency worldwide? No need for forex for travel. Imagine that. Today, this thought sounds utopian. But hundreds of years ago, there was no currency. There were no banknotes. People would use the barter system globally. They would trade a good or service for another. For example, you could buy a basket of mangoes in exchange for a sack of rice. Around 9000 BC, people were using cattle as a form of currency. And then currency came around. People started using commodity money. Their value varied depending on the metal that they were made of. Gold coins were most valuable, silver less valuable, bronze lesser still. Then came representative money. Its value was decided based on its ability to purchase a certain physical commodity, you know, like gold. Each country's currency was tied to a fixed amount of gold. But the gold standard had its drawbacks, like you could not have new supply of money without new supply of gold. This problem became evident during the world wars. So in 1971, the world abandoned representative money. Instead, fiat money was adopted. Fiat money is what we still use today. Today, our banknotes do not have an intrinsic value. They are not backed by commodities either. Instead, the value varies depending on demand and supply. Now, demand and supply is influenced by a number of factors like interest rates, inflation, capital flow, even the supply of money. Let's try and understand the correlation and break it all down for you. How do interest rates decide the value of your currency? For starters, it regulates the amount of money in circulation. Let me explain this. When a country hikes its interest rates, investors rush to invest. You know, so they get the maximum assured returns. A rush for investment reduces the currency supply against the demand. Simple economics. Where demand exceeds supply, the value of the currency goes up. Also, when interest rates are hiked, people take less loans from the bank. There is less flow of money in the system. And this again reduces the supply of money vis-a-vis -vis demand. Look at what's happening now. The US has hiked its interest rates, so investors have withdrawn their money from other countries to invest in the US, and this has pushed the value of the dollar. While countries with stable currencies are attractive for investors, the opposite holds true as well. Investors don't want to put money in unstable countries. Take for instance the UK. Not too long ago, the pound had a free fall. This was after the government of former Prime Minister Liz Truss announced its mini-budget that was considered disastrous for the economy. Something similar happened in 2016 after the Brexit referendum. Investors were not sure about how the UK's decision to leave the European Union would affect the economy, so they withdrew their money from the country, leading to a devaluation of the pound. 
So investment to a great extent determines the value of your currency. When investments are pulled out, it leads to a currency crunch. Currently, investors are pulling out dollars from countries around the world, including India. And this reduces the circulation of dollars, leading to a crunch. It then becomes difficult for countries like India that pay for their foreign trade in dollars. While the supply of US dollar falls, the demand to pay for trade in US dollars remains, the disparity results in a rise in the exchange rate. That is also why the value of the Indian rupee is falling vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. Something I will talk about in a bit. So while investment influences the value of your currency, so does trade. Like I mentioned, India trades in dollars. Most countries trade in dollars. But why dollars? Because it is seen as a stable and strong currency. Now, a country that sells more goods and services than it buys ends up with surplus dollars. When you have enough dollars in the market, you need to spend less local currency to buy US dollars. So the value of your currency goes up. You know what else determines the value of your currency? The prices of certain commodities. Take oil, for example. There are some economies that are dependent on export of oil, like Saudi Arabia. So the more the price of oil, the more dollars Saudi Arabia has in circulation and their currency against the dollar becomes stronger. You get what I'm saying? Now, it will be wrong to say that the value of your currency is totally dependent on external factors. It's not. The government through the central bank also tries to control it through monetary and fiscal policies. Once again, take into account what's happening globally. Countries are hiking their interest rates to keep the value of their currency from falling. The Bank of England hiked interest rates by a number not seen in 33 years. Finally, here's what really determines the value of your currency and puts a number to it. The exchange rates. It is the exchange rate that determines how much forex you can buy against your local currency. If you live in India and you are traveling to the US on a vacation, the exchange rate between the Indian rupee and the US dollar will determine how much money you would need to fund your trip. Exchange rates were brought in after the fall of the gold standard. Most countries adopt a mixed system of exchange rates, as in the central banks buy or sell different currencies to control the value of their own currency, which also means the value of your note would change depending on the situation. Now, the rupee is heavily dependent on the value of the dollar. Have a look at this headline. It says, rupee falls to 82.87 from 82.79 against a resurgent dollar on hawkish US Fed. What is the dollar and American policy got to do with the value of the Indian rupee? What is the correlation? It is the dependency on the dollar for trade. Now, Belize has decided that its currency would be worth half of the US dollars. Belize has a fixed currency pegged to the US dollar at the rate of 1 is to 2. But why should you care? How will the changing value of your currency affect you? 1. Because when you travel abroad, you will have to plan your trip budget based on the current value of your currency. 2. If you are studying abroad, your cost of living takes a hit every time the value of your national currency falls. Three, imports become expensive. And in short, every time there is a swing in the value of your banknote, in one way or the other, it affects your wallet. So the next time you sigh and ask yourself, why is the